I'm Jennifer Priest with Hydrangea Hippo, and I'm going to share with you a tip of the day here at Scrapbook Expo. What I want to show you is how you can use your favorite paper scraps to create really cool custom jewelry, like these pieces that I've made with ice resin. So this piece features some uh, little die cuts from the Graphic 45 Steampunk Spells collection. So I made a cute little Christmas, I'm sorry, <laughs> I made a cute little Halloween necklace and then I also made a Halloween pin, again cutting some elements out of the paper from the Steampunk Spells collection. So let's get started. I'm going to use a template from Ice Resin that matches the bezel that I chose. So to figure out which template matches the bezel, you just match it up to the template. Now I'm going to lay that over top of my image, and again, this is from Steampunk Spells. I'm going to use a pen to just gently draw a circle around it, or to trace the template. I'll cut that out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can add glitter into your bezel, um, little sequins and things like I've done on these other bezels that I showed you, mica flakes, anything you want to disguise it. Now what happens with resin is that when you put it on paper, it turns the paper kind of translucent. So what we're going to use is this paper sealer. And this is from Ice Resin from Susan Lennart Kasmer. And you can use any paper sealer, but I like this one because it's the one that they recommend. And it also does a great job and dries fast. So you just want to seal your paper, the front and the edges. And I'm just using a little sponge to apply this. You can use a foam paintbrush or a paintbrush. I like to use a sponge. Now, while this is still wet, you can go ahead and put it in your bezel and get to putting your ice resin on. So I'm going to set this right into my bezel. And the paper sealer is a little sticky, so it will help it help your paper stay into the bezel or stay inside the bezel. And if you want, if it's not sticking that well, you can use some ice resin as your adhesive. So I went ahead and mixed some ice resin together, and I'm going to just set that here in the bottom of my bezel to use as my adhesive. I'm going to put my image in, and then I'm going to use this popsicle stick just to drizzle on ice resin onto the top. And this is going to help create a really cool seal on this bezel. Ice resin is self-doming, so that means that it creates a nice, pretty dome right on top. And you don't have to work to get that. I'm just spreading it around here so that I can get it in all these little edges. Also, all the bubbles will naturally come out of the resin. So this one doesn't have any bubbles in it, so we're really lucky with that. And if you wanted, once this is tacky. You can sprinkle glitter here on the edges, add gems or crystals, whatever you want. So here's how you create your own custom embellishments or jewelry from your favorite scrap paper. Thanks for tuning in today to the tip of the day.